sorry, but in my defense, it looked a lot cooler in my head. I don't understand. I thought you were okay with it. You said no problemo. Well, it is a problemo. I'm angry. I can't believe you'd make a decision that big without talking to me about it at all. I'm sorry. Look, I don't want us to end on bad terms. I don't either. I just don't know how I feel about releasing you from your contract. What are you saying? We've invested a lot in you, Betty. If it was anyone else, I'd say no. I need to think about this. Okay. Well, they need the form right away, or I'll lose the job. I said I would think about it. All right. Well, then I guess we'll talk about it later. <clears throat> so what's up? Well, look, before I go to London, I have to get released from my contract. Oh, God, Betty, honestly. Go on. OK, are we talking or not? <laughs> Just the other night, we were here talking and working. I mean, she's writing my bio. I wouldn't trust anyone else to do that. Are you sure this isn't about more than just Betty's editing skills? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that you might have feelings for her. What? He's a bully, and he's manipulative. And he has a weak chin. Yeah! yeah. What? No, yeah, um, no, he doesn't. Well, what does that have to do with anything? Keep, 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 keep ranting. Go. He's... Come on, Mom, that's crazy. Perhaps. Or could it explain your behavior? What? No. No way. Daniel, darling, you were so upset at the possibility of her leaving you nearly burned down your office. If you are having such a hard time with her leaving, you need to give her a reason to stay. Well, I think you need to go and give him a piece of your mind. You know what? I will. Yeah. Thanks. Good. You're welcome. Daniel, I... Me first, Betty. I can't live without you. 